So we got the manifold on. We're gonna start lock tying the bolts onto the lock. We had to do a little shaving here because there were some fitment issues right there. So we shaved the bracket a bit. Other than that, everything lined up pretty well. So we're still bolting on all the bolts. This bolt under here will be the part it's going to get to. The bar manifold is installed and we just finished bolting on the tensioner and the contact under always. Next we're gonna bolt, we're gonna torque in the pulleys. Well, it looks like uh, I finally got it completed. Um, the install was pretty easy. The only hard part or difficult part of the install were the little things like if you drop a nut or a bolt into the engine bay and you don't know where it's at and then you have to take apart a whole bunch of parts to get to um, where the nut or bolt dropped into. That's basically the hardest part of this install was just those little things that just takes up so much time. Um, so here are the pulleys, the clearance is uh, really good, uh, no issues with the belt or the pulleys, um, the tensioner is um, kind of hard to get to because it's so tight, so we have to um, loosen these two bolts here so we can move it out back to give us more clearance to get to the tensioner bolt and uh, take it out. We also had to remove the uh, alternator uh, to swap out the pulley because I had the NST pulley uh, set which was uh, the crank, the alternator and the idler pulley from NST. So we swapped out the crank pulley with the lightweight crank pulley for um, a supercharged setup put the stock alternator back on and uh, we put on the contact pulleys um, so far they're pretty good the blower um, nothing really wrong with it it bolted right on the hard part is um, the bolts the three bolts in the front here of the blower it's uh, hard to get to so we had to take off the front uh, um, being here to uh, get access to it just a few bolts and you can lift it up and give you access and uh, here's my J35 car buddy I haven't ran uh, or installed the J37 because I was waiting for a uh, vacuum bottle from my victim so it's not here yet. Once it's here, I'll put the J37 on. Right now, it's just running the J35 with my Skunk 2 cold air intake. Uh, fuel rail is uh, okay. We have some issues with the uh, injectors leaking uh, fuel, but uh, I guess they weren't uh, seated correctly into the manifold with the gasket. So uh, it took us a few tries to get that to work but now it's uh, everything's working